infrared transmitting tube, also known as infrared emitting diode, belongs to the diode family. It is a light emitting device that can directly convert electrical energy to near infrared light and emit. Its structure and principle is similar to an LED. Only material of semiconductor is different. Infrared receiver is a component with functions of reception, amplification, and demodulation. Its internal IC has already completed demodulation, so it directly outputs digital signal. These two modules are usually used together. One emits a signal, and one picking it up. Now let's do an infrared transmitting and receiving test for these two modules. In this experiment, we also need two main boards and an external 6.5 to 7 volt power supply. First, upload infrared transmitting program to one of the boards. Let's connect this board to the computer with a USB cable to download the program. Then go to device manager to check if it is correctly connected. Right click computer, go to properties, click device manager and click port. You can see Arduino Uno R3 COM7, meaning board is successfully connected. Now open Arduino IDE, click tools. For board, select Arduino Uno. For port, select COM7. After selection, you can see here shows Arduino Uno COM7. The same with settings in Device Manager. In here, we can compile a program or directly copy and paste a program. For all of our products, we have supporting files. From where you can find sample programs for this module. First, let's take a look at the code. The first line says include irremote.h. So we need to place this file under the directory libraries of Arduino. So first, find this file, copy it, then open libraries of Arduino. Now paste it into this directory. After placing the file, you can directly copy the program and paste it here. Click verify to check compiling mistakes. If codes are correct, click upload to upload the program to the board. After uploading, we place aside this board and corresponding retransmitting module and begin program downloading of another board. Also, connect this board to computer with a USB cable. Still, go to Device Manager to check if it is correctly connected. Open Device Manager. In port, you can see Arduino Uno R3 COM6, meaning board is successfully connected. Same as before, open Arduino IDE, click Tools. For board, select Arduino Uno. For port, select COM6. The same with settings in Device Manager. Now, we find a sample program for receiving module. The first line also says, include irremote.h. Since we already placed the file, we can directly copy the program and paste it here. Click verify to check compiling mistakes. If codes are correct, click upload to upload the program to the board. After uploading is done for both two boards, let's do the wire connection. You can see for transmitting module, there are three pins. We connect positive to 5 volt, negative to ground, as to D3, because in the program we set a signal pin to D3. For the receiving module, we connect positive to 5 volt, negative to ground, as to D11 in accordance with settings in the program. After wiring is done, we reconnect the board with the receiving module to the computer. Board with transmitting module to 6.5 to 7 volt external power supply. You can see the LED on transmitting module is blinking quickly. Now open serial monitor, align the transmitting module to the receiving module. You can see the LED on receiving module and the one on the board are flickering at the same frequency as the LED on the transmitting module. And the monitor is displaying received data, A90. Align these two modules precisely, otherwise data will not be acquired correctly. 
test is now complete. Thank you.